Hey Steamers fans, welcome into another edition of Steamer of the Week. I'm here with Tanner Thatch, who had four home runs, knocked in 14 RBIs in five games this week. Tanner, thank you so much for joining me. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor to be here today. Of course, it's an honor to be sitting next to you. And Tanner, you've done so much at such a young age so far with this team. You and Davis Halstead, the only two players on this team to come here straight from high school. And I want to know, is, did you feel any pressure, maybe added pressure, being so young coming onto a team of college guys? I really did. At the beginning, um, I was I was very nervous. Um, I knew it was going to be a big change going from high school to college pitching, but um, I knew that to be able to see the field, I'd have to show early that I was able to uh, hit college pitching, and it's it was definitely a lot of pressure. But um, also getting to know these guys, and you know, they welcomed me in not as I was younger, but I was as a college player as well. It's been really awesome. It's a great group of guys, and obviously they welcomed you in, and you've adjusted pretty fast. Have you learned anything new from going against college pitching and being around college guys for this past month? I've learned a, a lot just in this past month of playing baseball. Um, I've learned that college pitchers like to pitch inside. Uh, never experienced that in high school, so it's a big adjustment, and it's I like it because it's a big uh, help for what's going to come in the next couple years through college. Because I know um, we'll be pitched inside a lot, be pitched outside, see a lot of off-speed pitches. It's been good to see this pitching for sure. But just to, um, the, the speed of the game is so much better as well. Adjusting to the to the nine innings from seven yeah. innings, a lot of changes, but it's been really good, and it's going to be a, a huge help going into the college level next year. Yeah, it certainly will be, and it seems like you've learned a lot, and you've experienced a lot in this month. Do you have a favorite memory so far? It's still so early. You've only been here for a month, but do you have a favorite Edenton memory so far? I do. Um, well, I, I guess I wouldn't say a specific memory, but really just meeting all these guys, having the opportunity to go on bus rides with them um, in the locker rooms, just a great group of guys. I was really nervous about how it's going to be um, meeting, meeting these guys and maybe thinking that they wouldn't welcome me in because I was a high schooler, but it's been awesome. You know, I consider all of them my brothers. It's been awesome just to be in the locker room with them. It's really cool experiencing life with guys from all over the East Coast because we have guys from New Jersey, Long Island, all over the coast, and it's just really cool because we're all a little different, and it's just awesome how uh, God created us that way. So it's been awesome to to uh, be with these guys throughout this this time. Yeah, again, a lot of great guys on this team, and for you, we, we talked about the adjustment from high school to college, mm -hmm. and now you potentially could be seeing another adjustment from college to the pros. Obviously, there's a chance mm -hmm. you could be selected in the Major League Baseball draft, and we won't speculate where or when or what's going to happen with it, but how does it feel to be at a point in your life where all this hard work has gotten you to the point where it's a possibility that you could be going to the best baseball league in the world? Uh, it, it is awesome to know that there is a chance. Uh, I just want to you know, thank God for giving me the ability. You know, Without him, without him giving me this ability to have the opportunity, it's just, I uh, just give him all the glory for that. But um, a lot of hard work over the years, a lot of just days and nights going hard at it, trying to get to this moment. And even if it doesn't happen, I'm still looking super excited to go to Wilmington and play baseball, maybe be able to come back and play with the Steamers a couple summers. So it's all, all ahead is just, I'm really looking forward to it, just looking forward to see how God's going to lead me in that direction. Well, I know the Steamers would love to have you <laughs> as many summers as they could, but now, Last one for you, I've asked everyone this. What's your favorite jersey so far? Okay. I really like anything with the black pants. The black pants, for some reason, Ooh. I just like them a lot. But I think for my favorite, we've only wore it once, but I'm gonna have to pick the gray pants with the black vest. Okay. I think, I think it's a smooth combo. Hopefully we can wear it again. I know yeah. the guys don't really like the gray pants too much, <laughs> but if we can wear that again, I think that one looks pretty sharp. That's pretty good. So everyone's pretty much everyone's gone the black vest except Jeremiah Boyd, who's hitting behind us. He went with the cantaloupe jersey. Not a, not okay. a bad one as well, but yep. yeah, that's a good choice, Sam. All right, well, thank you very much yes, for joining sir. me today. Thank you. It was great to talk with you. All right, and Steamers fans, that'll do it for this episode of Steamer of the Week. Once again, thank you to Tanner Thatch. Remember, you can check these out all on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you find your Steamers content. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.